Richview Youth Services Center just east of Aurora has made a lot of headlines over the years. So it's been vacant since it closed this summer, but it may soon have a new purpose. Denver 7's Patrick Perez was there as the governor toured the facility today. For the past 20 years, Ridgeview has served as a facility for committed youth. Well, that changed this summer when the group operating this place had its contract terminated by the state. And now Governor Polis has some big plans in mind for all of these vacant buildings. An old facility with a hopeful future. People need help. Um, leaving them on the streets isn't the answer. Putting them in jails isn't the answer. Governor Jared Polis is hoping to turn Ridgeview Youth Services Center into a supportive residential community. You know, to build something like this would cost, you know, 120, 150 million dollars from scratch. But because we have a facility that was underutilized and we can repurpose, the cost will likely be less than 10% of that. The site housed troubled youth up until the summer when the state ended its contract with the operator Rite of Passage. It served a great purpose for those youth for, for many, many years. Um, but that population does not necessarily exist for us in the Division of Youth Services today. The state, Aurora, and Arapahoe County want this to become a place homeless people can get temporary housing as they receive help with their addiction recovery and mental health. We know for people who need to work on their behavioral health or recovery, um, that's almost impossible to do if you don't have a safe and stable place to call home. The facility's 500 plus acres, its multiple residential halls, and its distance from nearby cities are what captured the governor's imagination. Not only does it make it harder to relapse and, and, and acquire the illegal substances, but also so it's great to be able to walk around uh, outside and, and have that be part of a healthy healing process to overcome substance abuse. And unlike a temporary facility for troubled youth, this would become an open campus and people will be able to come and go as they please. For some who need this kind of separation uh, and peaceful environment um, from the hustle and bustle, I, I think it could be useful. If the program gets all of the funding and all of the approvals that it needs, Governor Polis' dreams may become reality within the next two years. We're in Watkins. I'm Patrick Perez, Denver 